What's up guys, so I decided to make it differently. From now on, I'll be making videos when we see the new events. I'm not going to be doing daily routine over them, we're just going to go straight over. Since Shiny Game has the same reset as China, um, I'm able to just show you the events. But we have some pretty interesting stuff for tomorrow. We have Hokamundo Treasure, which is a brand new event, and we have a Shinigami Fund. But we have a mysterious puzzle event going down, so it's just the usual. You get your titles. I wouldn't recommend anybody getting the titles. I always say go for the Spirit Stone boxes, go for the Hogo Enhances. Since this is Shinny Games and not Bleach Online, the rewards are different. And um, just expect things to change when you're actually playing it tomorrow. Or if you're on EU and you see Reset. So Bleach Treasure Map, it's probably like the second best way to get Turn 1. Fury, at least for basic Fury Stones, probably the second best. I think Witch's House is actually better. We do have limited feedback. So they finally replaced Senju Maru. Um, for 40k gold, you now get a Shinemu. Senjumaru took this spot for a couple months now, and uh, we're finally seeing some changes. As far as the consumption goes, they don't even go up to 40k. Okay, <laughs> okay, I forgot about that. Um, you have Katen Kyokotsu, 50k top up, 40k spend. These events are really good. They are they are really good. For top ups, you have daily present, limited feedback. Then Huacamundo has some things as well. Um, Taking a look at the daily present. Today you get Soul Stone, so nothing special on the first day. I think Shiny Games also has different rewards as well. So like I said, expect things to change. This is basically a different version of the game. The uh, Super Value Gift, we have a 50% um, fifty rebate. I'm not sure if we will have that. We might have a 40%. I don't think I've ever seen a 50% rebate, but if it is 50% rebate, then that's even better than a 40%. Only thing better than a 50 would be an 80%, but... Let's take a look at the new event. So Shinigami Fund. For those of you who, who play Naruto, um, it's very similar to what we had during the Christmas event and October event, I believe. So this is all cumulative top-ups. When you reach a 10k top-up, you, you can re you can purchase this fund. But remember, you can only purchase one fund. So if you if you plan on topping up 20k, do not purchase the 10k one. If you plan on doing a 40k, don't do the 20k. You can only do one. Basically, the way this works is you top up 10k gold or 20k or 40k you purchase the fund and every day at reset or like a couple of minutes after reset you'll get mailed in gold each day for 100 days so basically you top up 40k gold you get 80k gold over 100 days you would divide 80 80,000 gold i have to use my calculator because we're retarded up in here okay give me six hours to calculate this so Math is hard. So you have you get 800 gold a day for doing this. 800 gold a day is going to be mailed into you for 100 days. Then you get 80k gold. So it's a very good investment. It's basically a way... We don't have growth funds, so this was going to help you out. Um, very good events to top up. Now, you also have the Shinigami gift, which is based on top ups. Now, I'm not sure if these are singles or the cumulative, how it works. But basically... You keep opening them up, and it has a chance to give you coupons or gold. So you're not spending. You're just basically getting points to redeem for this. And um, it's very good because for the 7,200 gold one, you could, have, you could get up to 7,200 gold back. And even getting a lot of coupons. In, re in regardless, this is just the best event for top-ups without like a high rebate. So if you're going to do big top-ups, I highly recommend you to do that. If you're going to do a big top-up, wait for daily present. Make sure it's a good one. And now we're going to talk about the Huacamundo treasure. Now, this event looks pretty good. So the first part is basically you have three dungeons. And I'm going to have to show you on the screen because this is a VIP Zero account, so you won't see it. Or it might not even be active as of now. But you have a dungeon for VIP 1, VIP 6, and VIP 10. You basically get a, get a certain amount of items from it. Well, I lost the screenshot, but you basically have to spend silver for a certain amount of time that you want to be in the dungeon, and you'll just be accumulating items from it. As far as I saw, you could get like an almighty modified fragment chest. Um, there's pretty good items in there, so if you have a lot of silver stocked up, definitely try it out. There's going to be a VIP 6 one, so I wish they did one for like VIP levels for every 2 levels, so you could go uh, VIP 1, then you could go to 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. That would have been much better, but they only did three dungeons, so it's really not that rewarding for being a high VIP unless you're VIP 6 or you're VIP 10. Wish they had one for VIP 8 because I didn't, I didn't plan on going VIP 10. 
But they really are releasing Yachiru. So they just released Tessai last week. And then we're going to have Delicate Yachiru. Honestly, she is the most disappointing thing that came out since that Tessai. Um, her growth rates are pretty decent. I mean, they're pretty good. You have a 5 strength and 5,000 base stat with 5 HP. So definitely that's that's really high for an assaulter. But her skill, tax all enemies growing rate 120%. That's really weak. Decrease all enemies healing effect by 75%. For two rounds, she kind of does what Bankai Rukia does. And she disarms two random targets, so she has a mix between Hisagi and Kensei. And then she gives herself 100 Fury. Honestly, I'd rather have Kensei than her. She seems really weak, really underwhelming. She will cost you 20k gold. Um, but the only thing that's notice noticeable about her is her modifies. Increase the first mod and her... Jesus, fuck. Okay. Okay. What the fuck? Can we do this? Okay, first modify, the basic modify and the fifth modify are the only ones that I would actually get her. But that's only if you're running a Nozorashi Kenpachi. If you're like a Vanguard, if, you're, if your main formation relies on your Vanguard, like Nozorashi, um, the first mod is good for anyone, but the second mod is for any Kenpachi. I don't know if it's any Kenpachi, but I would assume it goes towards Noza. So the base mod is gives a Vanguard 15% more defense. That is very good. And the fifth mod, which is amazing, gives herself 18% damage rate. But when she has Kenpachi in the formation, she gives him 12% extra avoid injury rate and 20% extra block rate to Kenpachi. So for those Nozarashi stackers, she is actually worth getting 20k because you don't care about your other partners. I mean, you would just get Yachiro her fifth mod and just leave her there. You really wouldn't care. Because given 12% extra immune rate and 20% extra block to Kenpachi, Jesus, he could go from 130, like 6% to 156%. That's unreal. Plus another 12% immune rate. I would just say she's only good for those Vanguard stackers. Um, the way that the dark and light reward works is that to draw one chest is 100 gold, to draw 10 is 1,000 gold. So you get basically like 10 points for 1,000 gold. And uh, in the Shop of Darkness, let's check it out. So you get basically items in this one. You have a 130 Kingslayer set and a 120 Godmite set. You also have a tier 12 Hogu for 5k gold. So the 130 set is 10k gold and the Godmite set is 7,500 gold. Plus you have a 110 Inferno set for 4k gold. So it's pretty good. You can also choose to get exclusive fragments. So basically 1k gold gets you 100 exclusives. Um, not sure. That's not really worth it. I'll just say wait for a special cultivation. The chest itself, it actually gives you some time, something every time you pull. So you could get 50 Hogyoku Pill Fragments, 100 Crystal Cores, 100 Universals, 2 Soul Stones, 2 Assisted Modest Soul XPs, and 1 Level 7 Spirit Stone Box. Um, the Light one has 2 Hogu Enhances, Soul Refining Stones, Red Hogyoku Frags, Almighty Modified Frags. So it's not too different, it's just basically what you want more of. Um, Hogyoku pills and Hogyoku fragments. So, I would kind of just say go with the right one, the right hand side, because these items are a bit more scarce. I think the only item that's really hard to get on this side is a Soul Stone. Probably Soul Stone and Mod Soul XP cards are the only rare ones, but Red Hogyoku frags are really tough to get. Almighty's, even Soul Refining Stones and Hogyoku Hollow Spirits. But taking a look at the light shop, so you could get. A Kukaku for 20k, a Red Elegant Unohana for 300k, Shinemu for 200 or for not 200k gold, 20k. Sorry, both of these are 20k, both of these are 30k. So you have 10 Sazangetsu. I mean, honestly, this event is paired up very nicely with everything because you do have limited feedback. You do have Shinigami Fund, which is a new event. So definitely go ahead if you're planning doing big top ups now. Because there's a lot of events that will benefit from this. Um, especially spending gold will go towards. You could even get a free cotton. Yeah, the definition of free. But you could get it if you topped up 50k gold and spent 40k on partners or something. I'd say these events are pretty good. But I wouldn't say they're as good as the Dragon Ball Festival. So I'm going to end the video here, guys. Just wanted to bring you some information about the events for tomorrow. Um, gives you a brief explanation of how it works. Definitely going to be doing a Bleach Online re re uh, daily routine tomorrow with the new events. So I can further explain things and show you how I do them. But thank you guys for watching and I hope this video helps you out.